All right, YouTubers, my battery's about to go dead, so I don't know how long this is going to last. May not be able to make this video, but I got this little three and a half to five horse Briggs. Um, this is an update to the uh, adult beverage mower. Sorry about the rain or the water and stuff. We're getting some liquid sunshine here in Arkansas. But uh, as you can tell, um, there, I've looked at the cylinder walls. Uh, well, well, to kind of tell you, um, I did all the repairs on that. Cleaned the carburetor, changed the intake tube, everything else. Got it to where it was getting fuel and fire. Which I should have just put some gas in the spark plug to check it before I'd done this. But uh, when I went to pull the rope, it uh, had a rattle. Um, not a hard knock, but just a definite rattle to it. Um, so I took it all apart and I checked, started checking everything out. Cylinder walls look good. Um, there is a little bit of, you know, scratching down in here. Um, nothing that your nail will hang on. I mean, it all is pretty smooth. The crankshaft is the same way right there. Um, you can see them, but you can't really, you know, do anything, you know, scratch your nail across them or anything like that. Um, the piston, there was a little bit of scratching. I don't know if you can see that on the side. Uh, there wasn't any play in it. I mean, it, it, it's all seemed pretty tight. But when I took it apart, this has got a little bit of scratching on it too, as you can see. Um, but nothing that a nail or anything will hang on. Um, when I took it apart... The two bolts that were holding the connecting rod were loose, I mean hand loose. So I don't know if that had something to do with the rattle. But um, like you can't you can tell that it did, you know, this the piston did get kind of into the deal, but I don't know if that was after the connecting rod loosened up or what. I mean it's not major. Like I said, you can't scratch your fingernail across it. But um, my question is, and I'm going to ask mainly Bruce or uh, George, the shade tree. Um, Y'all have probably had this a few times, or Terrell. Um, just wondering if it's actually worth rebuilding. Um, or if I should just go ahead and throw it away. Usually when I get one that rattles or something, or knocks, I just throw it away scrap it but the chassis is right here um, and it's in pretty good shape so I hate to throw the motor away um, but my question is is it worth putting a rebuild kit in it you know set of rings and call it good or should I just throw it away um, any help y'all could give me George or anybody out there just let me know what you think should i throw it away or should i try to rebuild it thanks for watching